Okay, so what we're going to do now, now we're going to look at examples of a few questions that are usually asked in the exams. Now, as I've mentioned in my introduction, most of the, uh, 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 um, these questions are in your, in your resource package too. So please have a look at this. I just took out a few of them just to show you how it works. Now, the most important thing that must go through your mind all the time is what must I look at to get to the answer. Now that's very important when it comes to your second question paper. You know, many people, they will, take, they will take a topographical map like this and they will look at the map and see absolutely nothing because they don't know what to look at to get to the answer. So if you, if you read your, 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 your question, and a good, very good question to ask you sometimes is, um, but what colors must I use to get to the question, to the answer? And if you can, 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 can identify the colors that you must use to get to the answer, believe me, you will, it will be a guide to you uh, what you must write down in the exams. So let's have a look at a few questions, uh, popular exam questions uh, uh, in, uh, that, I've, that I've just selected here. The first uh, uh, questions that I've selected has to do with um, climatology. Now I selected uh, across the syllabus, different uh, two or three examples uh, from if, if each part of, of the syllabus. The first one that we've got here, uh, in fact, we, we had a look at climatology when, in, in, when I showed you the, the, the blue, uh, um, the non-perennial uh, um, uh, rivers and those stuff, when we had a look at the uh, seasonal rainfall. Here we've got the following one, wind direction. Now, let, have, let us have a look at wind direction that we've got uh, uh, here. Now, the wind direction people, f popular questions um, will be one of the following. If, for instance, here by X, you and your friends decide to have a braai here by X. Now, very imp uh, uh, interesting uh, question here is, uh, you decided to braai around about 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock the evening. In which direction will the smoke blow? Now, that is a very interesting question. Let's have a look. And please, people, remember, you must know your content if you want to answer these questions. So please, remember when I've presented the content to you, I always referred to the second question paper. Now, let's have a look at this. You must know your content. Your content has to do with your catabatic winds during the night. And during the night, the catabatic winds always blow down the slope. And that's very important that you must know that. The winds blow down the slope. In other words, the winds here from X, if you should braai there, here's your slope. Have a look at that. There's a 440. Here you've got your slope. This is the, the, the direction of your slope. And the winds will blow from the slope. This is the highest point downwards. And this means it will blow in a southern direction. This is a very interesting question, people. See that you, that you know how the catabatic as well as the anabatic winds uh, work on your topographical, uh, topographic map as well. Very interesting questions uh, regarding uh, the cyclone as to do, the mid-latitude cyclone that is, has to do also with wind direction. So let's have a look at wind direction, typical wind direction uh, questions that can be asked when it comes to your mid-latitude cyclone. Now, what we've got here is an in this industrial area. Yeah. Uh, and what the, the, the question that they usually ask, a very interesting question, is here we've got three residential areas, West End, Teunzig, and, and Flayview. And we would like to know which of these residential areas would be affected by pollution before the front and after a cold front moves over this area. Let's have a look. What does your content say? say your content says, that before a cold front, northwesterly winds, in other words, the winds will blow in this, remember, from the northwest, this direction. In other words, before the cold front passes over this area, over Caledon, Flayview will be, would be the, the industrial area that would be mostly be affected by pollution. But if the for, for cold front, after the cold front has moved over the area, then the wind backs, it changes, and then it changes into a southwesterly wind. See what happens now. This means the wind is blowing that direction, and Tainzig will be the, the residential area mostly affected uh, by uh, pollution. Now, people, if you ever look at this, uh, this question, these are interesting ways in which um, wind direction can be examined. Please uh, just think a bit further. Think a bit 
uh, uh, regard your, 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 your content, your notes as very, very important. When they talk about what happens before cold front, please, that must cross your mind. What did I study? What did I learn with the cold front? What is important with wind direction? And if you, if you know that answer, it will be very, very easy to get to the, to the, to the, to the, uh, the regions which will be influenced by uh, pollution.